Hello, everyone. We have Jake and Alfonso today with us from the uh, JNA Snow Services. And uh, it's a pleasure to have both of you uh, this morning. Uh, welcome, Jake. Welcome, Alfonso. Thank you. Thank you for having us this morning. Thank you. You're very, you're very welcome. So uh, I'd like to start with uh, you guys started this snow removal business, uh, I suppose, very recently. So uh, when exactly did you guys uh, start this idea and launch your business? Um, yeah, so we did start uh, fairly recently. Originally, I think we started talking about the idea um, sometime early this year, this past year. So maybe like March or April. Um, and then I think around July is when we filed uh, with the New Jersey State like department and um, like made it official. It was just something that we kind of put our heads together and was like, this is something that we could definitely do. And we both felt that there was a need for it um, in, especially like in our township. So something that like we can help people and we can also uh, grow as individuals. That's wonderful. That's a great thought as well as a great goal because uh, I know 2020 was a little rough with the winters mm -hmm. in New Jersey uh, with the snowstorms, multiple snowstorms. And I, uh, I myself, I, I, I live in the East Brunswick area. I suffered a lot uh, uh, have not having somebody to get the snow cleaned out of the driveway sometimes, you know. So it's a great uh, idea and a great thought uh, you have put together to form this business. Uh, so is it three of you who are the owners of this business? I know we don't have a person uh, uh, today. Uh, if you want to mention uh, the three owners, uh, Jake? Yeah, so it's uh, me, Jake, uh, Alfonso is here with us today. And then the last one is Antonio. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Um, it just didn't really fit with his schedule. But uh, he told us just like to kind of take notes on the experience and just fill him in later. It's very yes. like flexible and like easy going. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so how did you guys meet? Uh, how did you guys came together to form this business? Alfonso, do you want to answer that question? Uh, yeah. So me, Jake and I actually met back in, I think, sixth grade. So now being 22 years old, we've met when we were a lot younger. As far as Antonio and I, we are actually related. We are cousins. Nice. So we just always shared that interest in working together. And we started working together in snow removal uh, in high school. So then it just kind of, we collabed together. Oh, Wow. Very nice. So that's history. So making yeah. friendship relationships coming together to form a business. That's wonderful. So uh, do you have uh, more employees working for you on this business currently? Yeah. So uh, since it, it being our first year, um, we do not have employees. Um, we're, we personally think that we can handle like the volume ourselves and if we do feel like it's something that is um out of our hands and like um unobtainable by the three of us then we do end up uh hiring but it would be like a seasonal employee because it's a seasonal type of business right so how do you take care of the infrastructure uh for this business uh, I, I, if i may ask alfonso that question so as far as like reaching out and um, providing customer service, I know Jake is really good with building customer relationships. So he handles that. Um, as far as like all the invoicing and making sure that the pricing is correct, I will handle that. And if we ever need more staff, uh, we already know from previous experience that Antonio is actually really well with hiring employees. So that is something he's going to be able to manage and handle very well. Right. Very nice. So you have the infrastructure set up uh, to run your business anytime there's a snowfall. Yes. So that's well, wonderful. So, um, uh, how would you describe your business to the audience? I know it's a snow removal service, but there are many different avenues when it comes to snow removal, right? So it can be in a residential scale, it can be a commercial scale, it can be just snow plowing, it can be, you know, using machinery. So how would you guys like to describe it? Yeah, so um, for starters, uh, we're starting with just residential focus this year. 
Um, and with residential, we do driveways, sidewalks, walkways, and we also uh, do a salt application upon request from the uh, homeowner or the address owner. Right. And so commercial is like something that is, that's always in our minds. So that's really something like kind of down the road, like three, four years, if uh, everything is going well. And it's something that we feel like if we were to expand to, it can help us grow uh, from a company standpoint. Right. Very nice. Very nice. That's, uh, that's always good to have a futuristic plan. So uh, what geographic locations do you guys currently expect to serve or serving at the moment? Um, Alphonse, you want to answer this or do you? Yeah. yeah. Um, so currently we're handling like South Brunswick area. We are sort of borderline North Brunswick as well as Franklin Park. We're, uh, we're trying to get into East Brunswick, actually, and trying to just service the greater Middlesex area. But it's uh, since we're small, we're just trying to maintain what we have currently and see how this season goes by. Oh, very nice. Uh, we'll really appreciate if you guys can do it too for East Brunswick as well. <laughs> so, um, and uh, so I know you guys said that you launched this recently. What were the toughest challenges that you guys had while launching this business. Uh, uh, Jake, do you want to yeah. go with that? Yeah, so I think uh, one of the toughest things we had was like, honestly, like shopping around for what we need. Um, from place to place, prices vary so much. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of, as like many people know, there's a lot of like uh, volume shortages of uh, products. So making sure um, first that what we need is obtainable because that's like the big step. If you can't get something, you can't really like prosper with your business. Uh, and then like another thing was um, probably like our marketing. Um, like, so we have, for example, we have flyers and it says that we start at uh, one inch, but we try to uh, emphasize to, to customers or to homeowners that just because it says one inch doesn't mean we need to start at one inch. We're very flexible with where we start. So uh, we, I like to say, or we like to say we're very customer focused. Um, so whatever they want is really what they're gonna get. Uh, and I think one thing that went very well was our communication. Well, since we're very close, like three very close individuals, it was very easy to communicate and so that made the process, like the difficulties, slightly less difficult. Right, uh, that's important. Communication is the key to the success of any business. So especially between the owners as well as the customers, uh, that if that connection breaks, I know it's gonna be detrimental to a business. So, um, uh, so I know you said you guys had this uh, challenge of uh, the equipment and all that. So uh, do you guys have equipment suppliers? Do you guys uh, own them? Yeah, so we don't have suppliers. We actually uh, do own the equipment that we need to perform the job. Uh, because it is residential snow removal, there's uh, no like plow necessities or anything. So we, this past uh, season, I'd have to say, if we started in July, maybe August or September, we uh, actually purchased a trailer so on the trailer, uh, following the trailer purchase, we purchased snow blowers, so they could go right on. And then obviously your stuff like shovels, salt, um, gas containers for the the snow blowers, and all that stuff like ice picks and things like that. That's very smart of you guys because uh, you design your business model in a way that <laughs> it is uh, you know the service dependent, right? Uh, depending yeah. on the service, you get the equipment that you need rather than having them and storing them somewhere, right? That's a great thought. Uh, um, and uh, has I know have you guys uh, already been offering services uh, on your business? Uh, because uh, since last year, did you guys had a chance to offer any services so far? Um, last year, we did not. Uh, last year, we kind of worked with a local, um, a local like landscaper who um, was more of a commercial based and like, apartment complex type person. And so that's where Antonio, AJ, and myself, or Alfonso, I'm sorry, and myself, 
got into knowing, seeing our work ethic in person as opposed to just talking about it. We all knew we were hard workers and had what it took to get the job done. So unfortunately, we did not offer products from our personal standpoint last year, uh, from like a business standpoint, I mean. Um, but this year we do have like uh, people who like were interested. We reached out to them and uh, we're looking to continue to grow. So obviously uh, like the more the merrier type of saying so right very good and uh, uh so i know covid it has affected a lot of businesses recently so i know it i i cannot frame this question in a way that did it affect your business but i would frame it in this way what do you think the impact will be on covid and how will you guys uh, mitigate that so honestly, due to COVID, I think it just, you, we can't normally just walk up to a house anymore and be open and say, hey, this is what we're offering. That's why we took the door flyer approach and we took more of the um, like Facebook advertisements, any type of Google advertisement, that kind of stand approach. Um, it's just been rough because it's not the same as, hey, let me just knock on the door. Some people are like, I don't want you near my door. That's why we try to offer contact, contactless services like the invoices are going to be like touch free, like we're going to send everything to you. And it's just been harder to reach the customer now before right. it's a lot easier. Right. Absolutely understandable. So if a, if a business, I mean, uh, I apologize. If a customer needs to choose your business between another business, uh, why would they have to choose you guys? So I ha so I think there's like three points to this. Um, one, we're uh, priced very competitively. I actually think we're uh, priced very well. Personally, I've had, so I've actually had like someone come out to my house, uh, quote my house, and I already had like my numbers in mind before uh, they quoted it. And we actually uh, beat the competitor's price. Um, two is... Uh, we're very customer focused. So a customer comes first, um, whatever their needs are, we're here to cater to their needs, not the other way around. And three, and uh, I think the second and third are like the most important. The third being, uh, we're very accessible. Um, we're, we'll answer when you call, we'll respond to emails or respond to text messages. So if there uh, is like a instance where something arose and uh, you, for example, in you don't need us to come that uh, snowstorm or you want us to come earlier, uh, just shoot us a text or a call or an email or anything. And we're always uh, there and eager to help and answer. Right, right. That is very nice. Uh, I think those three are the key important things. <laughs> if I was someone to choose your business and that's very nice. Uh, and who is your ideal customer, Alfonso? Um, so anyone right now in this particular time would be a residential, not such a big driveway, but we, we won't fear away from it. Like we, we're not going to shy away from that. But um, typically anyone who just has a driveway, the sidewalks and anything that needs to be done, right. we can cater to it. That's our nice. ideal customer. That's, that's very nice. So um, uh, has the internet played a role so far for you guys to attract customers? Um, so the internet has been helpful because we're able to create our website and um, the internet obviously helps with emails and advertisements. We're actually in the process of uh, creating more advertisements to get our name out there. Um, but the internet has played a, a very positive role in helping us grow and it also helps us to, for example, uh, we could go on YouTube and look up like efficient ways to do something, to start running a business. Um, so the internet has like many uh, learning opportunities for us as well. Very nice, very nice. I know uh, that's one way that you guys are uh, looking to reach out to the customers uh, apart from the flyers that you guys are distributing around, right? Yeah. So uh, is, so I, I wanted to ask, what was the number way, number one way that you guys bring in customers? Um, so Asia, Alfonso, I'll answer this. And then if you have anything else uh, that you find effective, just uh, jump in. Um, so I think uh, an effective way is honestly, 
um, refer like so referrals uh, because a lot of people know other people who have issues with their uh, snow removal come winter time and having somebody that's truly reliable and that will be there time after time whether uh, even if you um, even if you don't personally reach out to them every snowstorm so our main thing is we'll be there uh, every time you don't need to let us know just let us know if you don't want us to come is really so is really how it works so we're reliable but referrals are definitely have definitely helped us to grow very nice uh that's that's nice to uh, hear that uh that's the one of the main sources that you guys are looking out to uh get more you know get more customers in right um all right so if i'm gonna be focusing on futuristic questions now if you look into the uh, six months to the year of to the next five years, where would you like to see your business at? I'll take this. Um, uh, yeah, so Alfonso, far, go ahead. As far as like, if I'm pinpointing it on a three to five year scale, I know we would like to actually touch the um, commercial standpoint and we would start to move along with that. We would also like to grow our residential um, portfolio and just continue to subbing out, like hiring people underneath us and continue growing like that and expanding. Um, as far as equipment, we would look to seek to get better, better equipment, uh, better customer service support and making sure that we have people underneath us that could also take care of it while we can also be there in the front lines, making sure the job gets well done and we stand behind our word. Very nice. And just uh, to throw in for like this in terms of the six month range uh, is to get through this season and again, grow our uh, customer base and also just have positive feedback uh, from everyone, get do our job as best as we can. Nice, very nice. And if I put this in one to 10 scale, one being not so important, 10 being really, really important. How important is it for you to reach this goal? So I would, I would personally put it as a 10. Uh, I think every goal that you should set um, should be something that you strive for. So again, this is a goal that we've set. Um, and I'm, so we took the first steps in starting the business and now we need to continue down our path to reach the overall goal that we have set for ourselves that's very nice so so you guys want to reach that goal as soon as possible yeah very <laughs> nice very nice yeah uh and what happens if you don't reach those goals um so i that's a good question uh so our goals there's really no um like time frame, like specific time frame, like uh, Alfonso was saying, like within three to five years, we want to do this. Uh, I think if we follow down the path we're going and we just uh, like stay true to ourselves, I I personally don't really see our goal not being able to be uh, achieved. Absolutely, it's just the the work that you had put into and uh, the energy, right, that you need to have uh, to get that goal to reach that goal so i'm i'm very positive <clears throat> Thank excuse you. me i'm very positive you guys will reach there and uh, so what are you doing right now to get your business uh, to that point mm -hmm. alfonso do you want to go with that yeah so right now we are currently just trying to focus on like the back end back end mostly um which is just making sure we have the proper equipment and being ready instead of waiting last minute to make sure we have the snow blower, the trailer. That's why we took care of it uh, beforehand. Right. We are also looking just to continue advertising and continue to get our name out. And that's like our main focus before the snow starts because we are just trying to let people know that we are here and we're offering residential services that normal people like who do commercial don't really offer anymore. So, right. That's, that's, that's nice. It's a very crystal clear plan and goals that you guys have. So that wraps up all my questions for uh, the interview with you guys. So I want to wish you, Jake, Alfonso, I know Antonio is not here, but all three of you the very best. And uh, thank you so much for coming today uh, and joining for an interview with the Middlesex Review. Uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, once again, 
Wish you guys the best. Thank you. We appreciate you having us. Thank you very much for having us. You're very welcome. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. You guys as well. Thank, Thank you. you.